So the big question today is, which is going to happen first? Project restart and Premier League football beginning again? Or Newcastle United's takeover being complete? Huge news coming out today regarding the Premier League. Football is expected to recommence on June the 17th. The majority of teams are going to start playing again on June the 20th. So when football does restart, you'll see Villa, Sheffield United, Man City and Arsenal playing first. This is great news and I for one am excited to see football resume even in empty stadiums. And the potential schedule that's been mentioned looks incredible too with every game being shown live and basically wall-to-wall -wall football on a Saturday and a Sunday. But the question is, what about the Newcastle takeover? Does the Premier League restart and change anything with that? Will the Premier League's focus now turn more to the takeover or will the Premier League just playing a very careful game in delaying the Newcastle takeover to show that their priorities were kind of in the right place, you know, in the resumption of football rather than sorting out potentially huge investment and money flowing into the league, which we all know the Premier League loves more than anything else. So what do you think? What's more likely? The restart of Premier League football or the Newcastle United takeover deal going through? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you enjoy my content too. Whilst we're waiting for the answer to that question, I've got a few questions I'd love to know the answer to regarding the Newcastle takeover deal because it's just week after week after week now of the same pattern happening all the time and if I could just answer a few questions I think I'd feel a lot better about it. So here are a few key questions that I'd like to know the answer to. Firstly, why has this taken so long? Is it just because the Premier League are playing a clever game to show that they're being thorough? Or has there really been issues? We've obviously had so many reports from every media outlet you can imagine, but it doesn't appear to me that there's been any leaks from within the Premier League at all. So every time a journalist gives an update, positive or negative, we need to greet it with a pinch of salt in my opinion. I hope on this channel you'll value the fact that I try and maintain kind of a level view on it all and I try not to get carried away with the positive stories and I try not to get too disheartened when I read the negative stories and that for most people there's some kind of balance in the middle so I would just like to know why has it taken so long because it would just be nice to have an answer to that question one way or the other you know is everything okay or not my next question would be is the piracy story a genuine threat to the deal or not again I've heard plenty of people say it's a deal breaker and I've heard plenty say that the Premier League won't turn this down due to the money at stake and potential court cases if they reject it would the Premier League fancy taking on a sovereign wealth fund in a protracted court case. I think if I knew the answer to this question I'd be happy because then I would know whether this deal is truly happening or not. I'd also love to know the answer to this question. Are the potential new owners really already talking to managers and are they really beginning to target players? To me it just seems so ridiculous because how can you really develop a plan if you're speaking to several managers all at once, all with different styles of play, all with different ideas about how to take the club forward. I know some of these stories are simply clickbait, I get that, and column fillers, but the sheer volume of them makes me wonder whether there's some truth in some of them. Pochettino's comments last week were obviously really interesting, but is he just waiting for the I's to be dotted and the T's crossed before becoming our manager, or were we all twisting what he said to kind of fit the story that he's going to come and join Newcastle? You know, are we putting two and two together and making five. I really wish I knew the answer to these things. Sadly, I don't. And my confidence this week has taken a bit of a knock due to the allegations coming out linking Saudi Arabia to the piracy issues over in the Middle East. Now, I do understand that some people are saying this is just a rehash of stuff we already know, and perhaps that might be true, but that worries me slightly in a way that a lot of the other things is just washed over me. We've then seen the counter stories to that over the last couple of days saying that Saudi Arabia are going to bid for the Premier League rights the next time they come round in, the, in that region and that is something the Premier League would be interested in I'm sure and in a sense would be a way of wrapping up the piracy issues. Something tells me that we've still got a way to go with this takeover yet and if I had to bet on which will happen first, Premier League football restarting or Newcastle United being taken over then my money would be firmly on Premier League football restarting. We've now got a, a date for that, June the 17th. Can Newcastle's deal be done by then? 
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and hit the like button too. And please join me on Saturday morning at 10am for my second live show on this channel. We'll be talking all things TakeOver, Project Restart. We'll have a fan of the week and we'll have loads of other good stuff too. Join us then if you can. Thank you for watching and I'll see you really soon for another video.